I walk past this sign every day on my way to school. And one day I asked myself, who was Mary Roberts Reinhardt? What does she have to do with the area? And why do we have a park named after her? It turns out Mary Roberts Reinhardt was a famous mystery writer. Grown-ups all say that she was the America's Agatha Christie, but I don't know who Agatha Christie is, so that doesn't help me. She was very popular in her time. Between the beginning of her career in 1908 and her death in 1958, Mary Roberts Reinhardt published over 62 novels, short stories, and plays. At the time of Roberts Reinhardt's death, her books had sold over 10 million copies. Okay, so I guess I've answered my first question. Mary Roberts Reinhardt was a famous mystery writer, but she died 20 years before my parents were even born. Why do we care so much about her around here? The answer to that question is that she lived near here. From 1911 to 1925, Roberts Reinhardt and her family lived in a big old mansion that overlooked the gully that now houses the park. This map I found from the 1960s shows exactly where the author's house stood, kind of where Hare Lane is now. At the time, none of the houses in the block of Orchard and Linden Street were there. The park is here. The carriage house from her estate is still standing and it's got one of the best backyards in Osborne. Neighborhood lore says that this random spot of concrete is a leftover piece of her driveway. The house itself was built in 1863, at the height of the Civil War. Back then, there was no Ohio River Boulevard, and the only way to get from Swickley to Pittsburgh was by a train. The railroad tracks were where the highway is today, and there were train stations in Edgeworth, Swickley, and Osborne. The Osborne train station was not far from where the Coast Guard station is today. It prompted one of the railroad executives to build his mansion there. They called the house Casella because the man who built it was named George Washington Cass. Casella. He was the president of one of the railroads, and his house that he built was what you would expect from a rich railroad officer at the height of the Civil War. Grand, sprawling, and extravagant. But the house was already 48 years old when Mary Roberts Reinhardt bought it in 1911. And by all accounts, it was a dump. Worse yet, Mary Roberts Reinhardt had spent all of her money buying the house so she had no cash left to fix it up. Her husband called the house the bluff. A play on words nodding to the fact that the house both stood on a hill looking over the Ohio River, and that purchase could have made them go bankrupt. The name stuck, and the house was known as the bluff, rather than Casella from about 1911 on. In her autobiography, the author writes about the wall at the end of Orchard Street. She speaks glowingly about sending her kids to dance lessons at the Edgeworth Club. And she describes her time in our neighborhood as the best days of her life. So how did we go from famous author's house to a park? Well, the Reinhardts moved away, the highway was built in 1934, and the house was torn down in 1960. In 1973, the Osborne Elementary School was built which required them to tear down more houses from that same era. And the ravine where the park is now was kind of unoccupied and overgrown. It stayed that way for the 70s, 80s, and 90s. In 2007, local residents and elected leaders leased the land for the park from the school district. It's that new? I thought that park was around for a much longer time. Me finding out things about my neighborhood while recording a video. Okay. The gravel trail from Beaver Street, the stone amphitheater, and the overlook were all created out of nothing. The founders named their park after Mary Roberts Reinhardt, honoring both her residents nearby and her colorful life. So that's the story of Mary Roberts Reinhardt. I hope the next time you walk past the sign or stroll through the park, you have a better understanding of the history around you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!